are welcome to a Cub Scout adventure and today guys we will be talking about earth rocks and so first we have some rocks that we found around our house so what we need for this experiment is we need a hammer, a magnifying glass, we need some a cup of vinegar and a eyedropper and we need some tile. So, so let's guys get to we're it. gonna start with the color test. This helps scientists determine what the ident identity of the rock is so like you would scrape it a little bit and it would show the color of it so we're going to start with this rock we're going to scrape it a little bit you can see that that color is white the rock's color is white so we're gonna we're gonna put that over here this one. well this one's white That one's a, like a grayish color. That one's white. So guys, I chose three rocks that I want to identify for the Loster test. So the Loster test helps scientists determine like if it's shiny, dull, or all of that. So we chose, I chose three rocks that I'm going to try. So look at this one. This one's a really cool one. It has like crystals inside, green crystals. And so we're going to see if this one's shiny. Of course, it's going to be shiny on the crystals, which it is shiny, as you can see a little bit. But on the black part, it's rock not number shiny. Two. So this rock is not shiny at all. Here, let me look at that. Yeah, there's like a little bit of like white little particles that might be shiny. So now to rock number three. So this one is probably going to be shiny. This one is like a little bit shiny. It's a cool color. It's like white and this like yellow gold color. So this one is shiny. Rocks and we're going to do the cleavage uh, test. And you want to grab your hammer and we're going to smash up some rocks. And we're going to see like if when it's when it breaks inside we're going to see if it like crumbles like how it breaks like if it has crystals inside or it crumbles when you break I it pop, so let's I go three rocks that i want to smash up and see like if it crumbles or that okay here i go it's like breaking up like you can hear a little noise like here's this noise makes like a little noise. oh yeah we broke it up See that so there's like a little bit of brown in between it. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Rock okay. number two. Let's hear this noise. That one was easy. One hit. So here are a bunch of the pieces. When you look at it, there's like the inside of it. This is pretty cool. You can see that we cannot break this rock. It's like really hard rock. One last go. So we know this rock cannot be broken. So guys, we found out about our rock. So this this rock, like, it was easy to break, but it turned into like dust. So like right when I snapped it, a bunch of dust came out. When we broke this one, it was really easy to break, and you could see that a bunch of pieces came off. And the last rock, this one was a really hard one, and when every time I would smack it, a little bit of a chunk would come off. So guys, we just did the cleavage test. That was really fun to do. Some rocks were hard to break, some rocks were easy to break. So now, we're going to do the chemical test. So, we need some vinegar and some rocks. So, we, we're going to, so to see if there's limestone in these rocks, we're going to grab a little bit of vinegar and we're going to squirt some on. And if it bubbles, it does have limestone on it. So we're going to start with this rock. So we got a little bit of vinegar. Okay. This one's bubbly. This one's not. That one's not. This one is. 
do. So these ones di do have limestone in them. <laughs> these ones do not have limestone in it. So guys, we're going to do the hardness test. So what we need to do is make sure you want to record your test. So we grab the four rocks we know. You need a penny, a knife, and your, you can use your fingernails. So we're going to scratch your rock, and if it leaves a line, then you know that's soft. Also, so we're going to use my finger first. So we know this one is soft. Let's use this one. That one's hard for my finger. That one's that one's hard. And this one's soft. So onto the knife. So we're gonna use the top of it. Okay, so we know this one is. Okay, we know this one's soft. It's like cut, we can't really see it while it's like cutting it off. Okay, so we know all of them are basically soft for the knife. Let's use the penny. This one got scratched. Oh, this one got scratched. This one's hard. That one is soft. So, we know this one is soft for all three of them. This one's only soft for two. This one's soft for one. And this one's like soft for one, two. So, and also, there's another thing you can see if it's hard if you, if you scratch a window with a rock. And if it's leaves a mark then you know that is a very strong rock and hard but the probably only rock that could do that is probably diamond this is about this video hopefully you did enjoy please like please subscribe and also please comment and guys i'll see you all in the next video bye